Praise be Jesus Christ, and thank you for joining me for the adult formation update. This is actually the adult formation update for the whole season of Advent. I usually do these weekly, but uh, this one's going to cover a long period of time here uh, for this season. Uh, I do want to let you know that our uh, two events that we usually have, The Good Life, um, The Good Life will only have one meeting during the Advent season, and that's going to be December 21st. That meeting for The Good Life will be online only. Uh, so go ahead and uh, go to the Good Life page, which is our website, stphilipcc.org forward slash good life. That's all together. If you'll go down to the message section, you will see uh, the link when that's available. Uh, so again, the Good Life will only meet during the Advent season on December 21st, and that will be online only. Uh, regarding RCIA, we will be having RCIA. It will resume January 12th, so please remember that RCIA, our next class, will be January 12th. That's a Tuesday, 6.30 to 8.30. That's going to be in person in the CLC as well as online. Uh, for more information about RCIA, uh, please go to stphilipcc.org forward slash become Catholic. And uh, our RCIA program is year-round, so please join us anytime if you're wanting to be baptized as an adult, if you are wanting to come into the Catholic Church in its fullness, or you are just a Catholic wanting to come back home or learn more about your faith, please join us at RCIA. Uh, the reason most of these events right now, Good Life and RCIA, will not be meeting during Advent is because we're going to put a focus on our Advent mission. Uh, to find out all information about the Advent mission, please go to our website, forward slash Advent Mission. It'll give you all the information. Uh, we will have the mission in person in the church from 6.30 to 8.30, but it'll also be live streamed. So um, we have two options. We have a two-night option, which would be December 1st and December 15th. December 1st will be the first talk. December 15th will be the second talk. Those are both from 6.30 to 8.30. And then you have the one-night option, which includes Mass. That'll be on December 9th in the church, 6.30 to 8.30. Um, so please uh, take the time to, uh, during this Advent, to draw closer to our Lord. Please take advantage of our Advent mission. Um, I want to just uh, do a little reflection here since uh, this is going to be the update for all of Advent uh, so that we can properly enter into this season and prepare for the Nativity of our Lord. Um, the four weeks of Advent are set apart by the church to commemorate the ages that intervened between the fall of our first parents, and the birth of Christ, which we celebrate at Christmas. It is a season of special prayer and penance mingled with joyful expectation and calculated to fit our souls for a worthy keeping of this great solemnity. Advent is also the beginning of the ecclesiastical year, and as, and as each succeeding year brings us closer to the second coming of Christ as judge of the world, this holy time is likewise intended to make us ready to meet our judge. So what we are doing during this Advent season is we are remembering the two comings of Christ, his first coming at his incarnation, his nativity, and the second coming, which will be his uh, the end of time. Uh, those That's what we're preparing. Um, the saints have also talked about a third coming, which is his coming into our heart, right? So in between his first coming, his birth, Christmas and the last coming, which will be the end of the world, we want to make sure he visits us, our divine guest, in our heart and that we welcome him there. Uh, so here is a, a prayer uh, for Advent. Be comforted, be comforted, my people. Thy salvation cometh quickly. Why with grief art thou consumed? For sorrow hath stricken thee. I will save thee, fear not. For I am the Lord, thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Redeemer. Drop dew, ye heavens, from above, and let the clouds rain the just one. O God, who dost gladden us by the annual expectation of our redemption, grant that we, who now receive with joy thy only begotten Son as our Redeemer, may behold him without fear when he comes as our judge, even the same Lord Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth forever and ever. Amen. Well, have a blessed Advent season. Hope this is a great season for you as you prepare for the Nativity of our Lord. Um, at this time, please take advantage of uh, um, our RCIA pre uh, playlist. Um, that can be found right here. And also, uh, for more information about the Advent mission, please look at our uh, video that is right here. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.